Hey guys, welcome back. So you ever had a time that you want to run a Windows program on Ubuntu? Well today we're going to show you how to do that. First we need to install Wine. So we're going to run sudo app update just to get the newest packet list. Give that a minute to go. We're going to be installing this on Ubuntu 18.04 LTS desktop. Now keep in mind that each Windows application be a little bit different and sometimes this doesn't work with all of them so I won't be able to offer you support on everything. But I know a few apps will run. So now we're going to do sudo app install uh, wine64. So run that. It's going to download 700 megabytes. My internet's a bit slow so this might take a bit. Well. Wow. No, it needs to download 104. So I'll just give this a minute to do its thing. Okay, that took a little while to install. So now we have wine installed. We can go wine. I'll just give it a minute to do its thing. Take a minute to update the directory list. Now, if we go into here, go to your home directory, and uh, let's see where they hide it on Ubuntu 18. I think it's under preferences. Yeah, I have no idea. But let's just hit control L dot. Whoops. I have no idea where the hide but there should be an option where you can hit show hidden files. We can just type in the location. You see this is where your wine stuff is hidden. So if you gotta delete anything or change stuff, it'll be in there. And it's supposed to give us an output of wine B. And this is what we're trying to run. And we got Wine 3.0 installed. So now to install something, you can either, once you have it installed, you should be able to right click, open with other application, view all applications, and you should see in here somewhere there should be Wine and Fairy. A little bit different than Ubuntu. 16. So look, what we're going to do is we're going to CD to the desktop. Not downloads. Desktop. <laughs> we hit LS. You see, I got this EXE, which I don't encourage pirating DVDs. So what we're going to do is we're going to type in Wine Setup DVD. Let me just run that, and you see, we now have the setup for the DVD encryptor running. So we're just going to do proceed as default. Yeah. We're going to run the DVD encryptor. This ain't important. That's because we have no uh, disk drive on this computer. But there you go. Thanks for watching. If you need any help, I'll try to help, as I mentioned. Not all programs are supported, some are a little bit glitchy and stuff. Just Google around someone else having some problems with a certain program running in Wine. Sometimes they'll have a fix for it, other times it's just, there's no help. <laughs> but I do know this DVD encryption program does work if I had a disk drive, which I don't on this computer because this is just a VM actually. So thanks for watching, please like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I need... I'm trying to get a thousand subscribers. Currently, we are 174 subscribers. We're slowly growing. See you guys.